WordPress dashboard, social locker. Let's do this. So go into your uh, ad plugins, type in social locker. So when you get to um, your WordPress, I don't know why it's blocking it out. Click install now. And what this plugin does is it, it you can use it to block off certain parts of your post until people share. Well, you can use it for a number of different things. Um, I'm going to show you all of the possibilities in a second. So here's the, the free edition. And this is what it looks like in the middle of your um, your post here in Latin. Uh, and when you hover over the buttons, it'll it'll open them up like a locker. And they can click share to see the rest of that material. You can use it to um, tell people they can get a PDF of the post as long as they share it or like it or... You could use it to give a discount. If people share your content, you'll give them a discount on something you offer or a product that you're an affiliate for. You can use it to enter a contest. So if somebody shares your content, they get one entry. And if they also like it, for example, and give it a plus one, they could get multiple entries. And then you could also use it to offer an additional set of resources, maybe a transcript of a video that you did. There's a lot of different options that you can use. You can kind of be creative with it. They have a, a, a trial version of the full, full version for seven days, and then it's 24 bucks after that. I went ahead and signed up for the, the trial thing. As I was saying, you can also use it to get people's email address. Um, you can use it to uh, hide certain parts, or like let's say you had a list post of like the 15 top ways to get social shares and you hid the last three until they shared it so here you have the settings right and you um, you have your default locker here and the default header will be this content is locked with the paid version you can do the uh, the one like that you can also do a transparent one that looks like that with Abraham Lincoln in the background and then you can do a blurry one You can put it on the top, on the bottom, in the middle. And then you can choose your um, social share buttons over there on the left. You want to set that to on. And you can put the URL where the user has to plus one your material. And then you just set the options for all of your different uh, social media things. Over on the right, we have some settings. Ajax on. If that's on, that means that people can't like um, look at your code to find the material that you've hidden. Hide for members. Hides the locker for uh, registered members. So if they've already paid or signed up for whatever and you don't want to hide it from them. Batch locking is where you can like automatically set it up so that like uh, it, it locks something after a certain part of your post. So you could tell this after like four paragraphs, I want you to lock the rest of the material on all of the posts that I do. So in the global settings menu, you can set up um, Google Analytics for your share buttons. You can collect stats. Uh, locked content is visible in RSS feeds. Anti-cheating, so that people can't can't cheat. And then you click Save Changes. So if we go to Stats and Reports, these are my stats. <laughs> Zero shares. Oh yeah. Google Plusiners. That's what they call them. So if you go into a post here and um, you highlight whatever it is you want to hide, you get a social locker button up at the top. You'll see it in blue. So let's say you're writing an article, but you don't want your readers to see the good stuff below until they share or like your content. So you highlight it. You go up to your social locker button. Click default locker. and It's going to put these little social lockers around it. When we click update. And like I said, this is what it'll look like.
It'll hide your material. And that's social locker. 